All right, for this video, I'm going to show another option for uh, integrating research into your writing. Um, option three has to do with leading into a direct quotation with your own words. Uh, this is a very easy one to do, um, but just don't overuse it. Um, and th there's a couple things that I also don't recommend that you do. Um, so here's my print source of the article that I'm using. Um, the exact same article is available to me in HTML form, which is right here. Um, so I'm actually just going to save time instead of typing that up. I'm going to copy that from there, and I'm going to start then typing. I'm going to say, according to Vera Tweed, comma, then I'm going to hit the quotation mark, and then I'm going to hit Control-V, which is a paste. I'm going to say match destination formatting. And instead of letting the period end there, um, I'm going to delete the, the period, close the quotation mark, and then I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Now, because I've already put the author's name right here, um, and then I'm going to consider this a print source, the only thing that I have to do is put a page number in. Now, this isn't very long by itself. In fact, it looks a lot longer than it is because um, I have it formatted to look very big. Um, I don't recommend doing very long quotes like this, you know, just leading in. But you let into it with your own words or according to the author. Um, we would do the exact same thing for the digital source. If it were just the digital source, the only difference would be the parenthesis would have to include the author's name at the end. Um, because it's di a digital source, we don't have to uh, um, put the page number for this. But the print source, we would have had to do that. Now, here's what I absolutely do not recommend. Scenario 1. I go to the article, I copy that, and I paste it. And then I just leave it as is, don't put any quotation marks or whatever around it. Um, that is class A plagiarism. <laughs> you are stealing and presenting your stuff as if, their stuff as if it's yours. You've got to give credit where credit is due. And you've got to lead into it with your own words, the according to Vera Tweet. That's fine. Here's another thing not to do. Control V, but now I put my quotation mark at the beginning of it, and I close this, and I put my quotation mark at the end, and let's say I do give credit where credit is due with my citation. And I'll make this bold so that you can see what my problems are with this. All right. You cannot go into a quote of somebody else's work and do the credit where credit is due without leading into your own words, okay? Or leading out of it with your own words. This, once again, the only difference between this and plagiarism, straight up plagiarism, is this one you didn't give any citation. But this is just as bad because you've not proven to me that you understood the context of the article. You are just basically putting quotations and saying, this came from there, and you're just sharing their text. Well, if we wanted to just share their text, we would go and just read the article itself from the beginning. So I'm saying don't do either of these. I also have a warning even about the technique that I showed you, the, the ones that are correctly done. Um, you might be able to do this a couple times in the course of your paper, but if this is all that you do in the course of a paragraph or your paper, this is going to be a very poorly written paper. Um, so use this technique sparingly. You know, when you do the paraphrasing and when you do put things into your own words or you integrate the paraphrasing with a direct quote, um, that will flow a lot better for your reader and what you need to make as far as your argument or the flow of your writing. But if you just do this the whole time, you're not proving that you've read any of your sources, let alone that you're presenting your own original work. This is something to be done in the context of a greater conversation about whatever it is that you would research. Um, so our option was to lead with your own words, and you know, one of the easy ones is according to blah, 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 and then doing the quote. Um, you can do that, but use this technique sparingly. 
Please do not copy and paste things and present it as if it's your own information. And please do not copy and paste stuff and give credit where credit is due because you still just copied and pasted stuff without leading into the quote with your own ideas or leading out of it with your own ideas. That's still plagiarism.